Hey, what's up guys? Sam from Cubi Studios here, and I am checking out the new game, Maze, that just released on Steam last Thursday, December 1st. And it's made by Finish Line Games. Those of you, Some of you may remember back in the day when I did a Let's Play in Cell Damage HD. That game was made by Finish Line Games as well. And so basically they did a remaster of one of my favorite games as a child. I almost said favorite games as a childhood. But I meant to say one of my favorite games during my childhood. Anyway, they did a remaster of that game, and they gave me a free copy of it, so to repay the favor, I decided I would buy their newest endeavor into gaming, which is their first original IP, Maze. And the game is basically, from what I can tell so far, a puzzle game where you play as a sentient stock of corn. So we're going to have fun with this. I think, I'm thinking about doing a full Let's Play of this game on my channel. You can let me know what you think in the comments below, or what you think of how fucking bizarre this game is going to be so far. And I'm already lost in the goddamn maze. Get it? Because it's... It's called maze. Even though that's not the actual meaning of maze. That's what it, the thing is, anyway. Do I have to hit something on this for it to uh, open up one of the stalks of corn in my way? Or am I just going to get fucking lost again? I already lost. So this isn't even my first time playing through the initial section of this game, either. I, uh... When this game launched, I did a Twitch stream. You can follow me at twitch.tv slash Studios if you want to see the uh, Twitch stream. But anyway, so this isn't even my first time. We're already fucking lost. That's part of the issue of me playing through this game is that I just get fucking lost at every twist and turn in this game. So I keep doing the exact same. So this is a dead end. And then this is also a dead end. No, it's not. That just looks like it was a dead end. I have been deceived and lied to. This is also a dead. Oh my god. In real life, I would just knock down all of these. Pressing Q is absolutely nothing. But I, in real life, I would just knock down all these fucking corn stalks. I'd be like, get the fuck out of my way. Mostly because I would start to panic. In real life, if I got lost in a maze of corn stalks like this, I'd, I would just freak the fuck out and run through them. I would have nothing to do with a maze. The left mouse button to pick up an item. Dude, did you see the corn pick up the fucking boxes? Oh, can't pick up Q. Hard as granite, this muffin. Oh, that's telling me to press E to look at the th uh, thing right now. Hard as granite, this muffin is most definitely nowhere near fit for consumption. Despite how much you try, all you've done is given yourself a headache. How unfortunate for me. Now, what I need to do, and this game made me realize this, because you have to sh hold shift to sprint. And, uh, as doing so, I need to buy, like, a cushioned shift button so my pinky can live in luxury while I do that. I think I'm supposed to grab some portfolio items, even though I've already grabbed them once before. Maybe the game will let me, because I've already done a playthrough of it, so I have all of these items that the game's, like, probably waiting for me to read. That's okay. Maybe it'll let me pick them up more than once, and I just forgot there isn't one on that table. We'll find out soon enough as we go through and discover the maze. I couldn't think of another pun. My Twitch stream was called Amazing. Amazing. Or something like that. I forget what it was called. I need a key. The key is somewhere out back here. I'm going to get lost a bunch of fucking times doing a fucking series in this game. The Twitch stream was. I, it took me like, I think, a half hour just to get through the first chapter. Not gonna lie to you. I'm not proud of it, but I'm also not gonna lie to you. That was a fucking travesty. And if you support me on Patreon, you'll be able to watch the full stream on YouTube. Right, now we have two items. I still don't know what this English muffin's for. I'm not gonna lie to you. But I want someone to eat it. Now that we've unlocked the door, I'm gonna have to try and remember what the fuck to do. And to be honest with you, I have no idea. I totally forgot. I drank a lot during that stream. So, we might not have the brightest memory of everything that happened during that stream. Ooh, let's put the English muffin in the toaster. No, okay, we can't do that. Some vegetable oil, or coconut oil. Not coconut oil, corn oil. Jesus. I'm gonna plug up the sink, because that's gonna be important later. Believe it or not, I'm not gonna remember that it's important later, but Jesus Christ, is it gonna be important later? C to crouch. 
the writing in this game is so funny. If you're actually watching the video, there's a bunch of writing on screen that makes this video series way more, way much more funny. Much more funny? Funnier? Words are hard, man. What are we doing? Are we going back? No, we're not going back over here. I mean, we are going back over here, but I don't need to go back over here. What I need to do is actually probably go... I mean, how many times you press it? Q still does nothing. Fucking my ultimate needs to get charged up. My ultimate is charging. Go upstairs, get some specific items for putting together puzzles and stuff. And I'll place the fruit crate here. And that's for doing stuff. Eventually. Is there other stuff up here? No, I don't think so. No, there probably is. Yeah. There we go. Nope. I keep thinking spacebar is jump because it is in like almost every video game. Not this one though. Give me this bobby pin. This bobby pin is going to be important. Any item you can pick up I assume is important. Right? You have to assume that. Or else why else could you be able to pick it up? Okay. Now we need to go out to the statue. And the statue will have stuff for me. Probably. I believe it has... Yeah, here we go. The fact that I've already played through this a little bit is going to get rid of a little bit of the illusion of me figuring out puzzles and stuff. If you watch the stream, it's me just screaming at the computer and chat, asking everyone to fucking solve the puzzle for me because I couldn't do it. There's a lot of obscenities. A lot of things were said. But that's the regular Twitch stream over here on Cubi Studios. I guess that's technically at Cubi Studios. At Cubi Studios is Twitter, though. Need this mallet. For no particular reason. In fact, we actually don't need the mallet yet. But I picked it up right now, just in case. I remember what I needed to do now. I forgot to uh, open the actual medicine cabinet. Now that we got the nail clippers, the nail clippers will remove the nail, which I know makes no sense. And I mean if actual nail. It's going to say this. Right? Vigilant as you are when it comes to personal hygiene, the only two things these clippers will do for you are if you grip something lodged in a wall and give it a 100% tetanitis guarantee. That's it. I also misread that. Totally. But that's okay. Words are hard, man. But anyway, if you press E and shit, the game will give you hints on how to use items, which I, after like a half hour of blankly searching through a maze like this, I figured out the game will give you hints. Because sometimes without these hints, you will be completely and totally utterly fucked. Like, this is basically a speed run right now because I kind of remember what the hell we're doing. And by kind of, I mean not really. Because, see, this nail now needs to be used as a power strip thing. So we're going to put this nail in a, that fucking vault thing in the basement. I'm swearing about this for no particular reason, but that's as we always do. Against safety regulations, we have powered up the house with a rusty nail. I don't know if this would actually work. I feel like that nail couldn't possibly conduct enough electricity for that to do anything. Now that the lights are on, I don't remember what we need the lights on for. Oh, I can put the oil in the sink. That's right. That's something that I took like hours to figure out. Well, not hours, but minutes. I'm forgetting things again. This is a shit show. Let me tell you what. This whole uh, Let's Play series is going to be a shit show. Because it's a puzzle game, right? So you have to figure out the puzzles and put things together. But I'm also going to be doing my commentary during. Which is just... The double hit, one hit combo. What is that? The double... What did I just say? What the fuck does that mean? I don't know what I was just trying to say. The one-two punch, I think, is the phrase I was going for. But then I said an amalgamation of, like, a bunch of different phrases, and it just came out as fucking nothing. Ah, here we go. I need to open the CD player and take the CD. And then now the CD, now that the power is on, will open up the barn and silo for me. Which is what I was thinking ahead to. Now it's time for us to get fucking lost again, don't you worry. I keep thinking this whole game is going to have a, like, scare for me. Where something is just going to pop the fuck out of these uh, corn mazes and just scare the shit out of me. I'm just waiting for it. It's bound to happen. To examine equipped items for clues. What do I have? We have a CD. Because that's a secret. Literally, it says top secret on it.
There's a broom. Nailed it. I just haven't need everyone to see this. Get pumped. I'm always pumped. I'm always doing pumps. If you know what I mean. Yeah, I think this broom was all we needed. From up here. And then we go to the silo. Which is behind the barn, probably. Realistically, that's where it would be. Oh, nope. There's not an exit out there. There's, this is a one-exit barn. For some reason. I mean, I think realistically you would have two exits in a barn. There'd be a back door there. But there's no back door here. So now we gotta go all the way around. Shout out to this chair that has painting on it. I think you would just not have the corn everywhere so haphazardly. I feel like that's not a good thing to have. Look at the corn is a master lockpick. Everyone makes it look so easy, but fun fact, that's actually pretty hard to do. To pick a lock with corn, or not corn, yeah, to pick a lock with corn would actually be near impossible. I meant with a, uh... oh yeah, there's no more of the collectibles since I already got them. So I'll actually probably just do a video. Once I have all the collectibles in this game, we'll just do a video showing all the collectibles. How's that sound? I can't wait for a whole dozen people to watch it. Stop pressing Q. But my ultimate's not charged, so why would I press Q yet? My ultimate is charging. I'm gonna take this dude's hand. See, there's less puzzle solving because I streamed for a little while. Let me tell you. Okay, this fucking glove. So, the glove tells you, a severed hand, perfectly preserved, and the glove that encases it, it could come in handy if you could give yourself a hand and find a way to loosen and get that glove off. The first pun was intended, but not the second. And anyway. So, the, basically the game tells you you need the oil to remove the glove. That corn oil that we had earlier. And so I spent about 45 minutes screaming at everyone in my Twitch chat to go, Hey, how in the fuck do I put these two together? Because I was just ma clicking on every table with both the glove and the oil. Because I assumed you could just combine the items, right? The game tells you you need a glove and you need oil to remove said glove. Why can't you just do that? Turns out that's not what you can do. Or you can't do that at all. You needed to fucking fill up that sink to put the oil in. Drove me nuts. I was running around it so long. Also, I like that we casually passed that dead body. But let me tell you, what drove me even more nuts than the fact that I couldn't figure out this glove thing was indeed the fact that this is a left-handed glove and a left hand, and it's on the right side of our screen. You can't tell me this isn't fucking infuriating, right? Look at that. Give me this. Get the fuck out of here. Now we have our key fob. This doesn't look like a key fob at all. This looks like a keychain to me, but that's okay. I don't design video games. I don't do stuff. Now we're gonna put this key fob. Right, this key fob. Gonna go here. Boom. Now we need a mallet to fucking mash this bitch. We're solving puzzles left and right. We've figured out the puzzle of the door, by the way. No, we haven't, actually. I need the glove. I need the left hand. I also like that this sink can't work, even though this sink's clearly stopped up. Or else you wouldn't have needed this. But yeah, this fucking took me like 45 minutes to figure out. There's the glove. I like that there's no bone sticking out of the hand. Slightly disgusting. Hey. Hi. Hi. Still left-handed, though. On the right side of the screen. I gotta switch items. I can't fucking deal. Is this the right way? I don't think I was ever particularly good at mazes as a kid. I would just kind of, you'd start to just kind of draw on every line and then eventually it put itself together. But thankfully this sign is telling me to go back to the door this way. Oh, Jesus Christ, are we lost again? Now, see, you just gotta muscle your way through. Just keep going every single direction and eventually one of them will work. I also try to fit this English muffin in here for probably a good five minutes. Turns out you need a CD, which is a very similar shape to the English muffin. But not the exact English muffin. Rip that hand, by the way. The donut in the sky. Hey. 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 It's a lot of angry corn. You must dance for a riddle before you're allowed. I had a vegetable joke for that, but I forgot it, so. A doctor and his son are in a car accident. No, not that one. Say the one about the guy who hung himself with an ice block. You should have gave that one away. Answer this one. What animal walks on four legs in the morning? That one's boring. I'm the riddle president today. I get to pick. 
They're so British. Not a fan. Am I Jim? I thought he was Jim. No, that's Bill. Where's Bill? You're Bill. Oh, that's right. You may as well enter as we sort this all out. Let's hope you're better than the last one. I solved the riddle. We did it. The answer is to just sit there and do nothing. Bing! Solved. The mystery of the riddle. Oh, and watch out for our brother down there. He's a bit odd. That's an ominous closing t note for us there. Appreciate it. Thank you. I don't know if that's the end of the uh, chapter or not. This is where you start getting all these fucking notes. And then you're the uh, subject of a psychology test. Bob, I told you to fix this elevator weeks ago. It takes hours for everyone to get in here because of your stupid experiment, moron. Cordially, Ted. Hiya, Ted. Don't worry about it. I'll reset the elevator after a few more months of data. We overbought on food pellets and have to get rid of them somehow. Bob. Well, fuck off, Bob. So you can hear the beeping noise, maybe, depending on how I've adjusted the audio. I like that the computer monitor's brightness has now affected the lighting in this room. You press the button, and you get the food. You ate a stale pellet. We're like a rat. This is a fitting end for psychology students such as myself. You press the button, and you get the food. Now we just want to press the button over and over and over again. But now pressing the button doesn't give us reward every time. Well, it actually still will in this video game, but... In the experiment, it won't. And now we've positively associated the button and food with the elevator moving. This has been a lovely educational video, and let me tell you how this shit this scared out of me. My god, Bob, what is this? Did you actually have the gall to commission a bronze statue of yourself? It'll cost us a, a fortune, you narcissistic dolt. Hi, Ted, don't worry, I got a good deal on a commission to these statues in bulk. Think they really spruce up the facility, especially for the tour. Could be a big moneymaker for us. Bob, you are so very stupid. What about the term classified? Don't you understand? We can't host any tours, moron. And don't think I didn't notice you put one near the farmhouse. Repeat classified. Put it away, idiot. Here's a bunch of brochures for the tour. The classified tour. Here's Ted. And here's Bob. This monster that just walked by. Also scary. You'll want to support me on Patreon to see all my genuine reactions to the fear. For no reason. Also, because I had a couple drinks. Hi, Ted. The fish shipment should be arriving today. Could you be a pal and put them in the tanks for me? Thanks. Bob, you dummy. There are thousands of water tanks here. Do you realize how much feeding these fish will cost? Well, first we need to grab this. This is very important. Clearly. Ted, Ted, exciting news. I got us a huge deal on jumpsuits for the facility. I got thousands in bulk and a fraction of the price. I've already used some of the savings for great stuff. Bob, you idiot. You got a good deal on them because they are completely useless. Nobody can wear them. Rip. Oh, I don't need a tip on the English muffin, though. Thank you. The only thing I would like is this game developer's recipe on how to make English muffins. I should tweet at them and ask. I'll use my Twitter account, at Studios to tweet at them. Hashtag self-plug. It's marketing, folks. You don't need a marketing degree with advertising plugs like this. Alright, where are we at? Oh, more sticky notes to read. Let me know in the comments if you want me to read these and can uh, further parts after this. Hiya, Ted. The latest brochure came back from the press. Take a look. I think it'll really boost the tour, and you'll be happy to know that the most sensitive bits have been re uh, redacted. Safety first. Bob, first you're an idiot. That brochure is nearly it is incredibly stupid. Second, for the last time, no tours. Third, if you're going to make this super brochure, at least add my name to it. We're co-research heads, remember? As in same title, jerk. Hi, Ted. Really sorry, but the final print has been done and sent off. I'll make doubly sure the next one has your name underneath mine on the front. Good God, Bob. Do you have the reading comprehension of a five-year-old? This is a top-secret facility. Where did you send those brochures, moron? People like to call people a lot of mean names in this game. Bob, you jerk. Put my ram back where it was. I know you took it and hid it in that stupid spot of yours. Bring it back here. You want the Gripatron. Because that's very important for some reason. Bob, you disgusting slob. Do you, don't you know how to read? Stop eating in here, glutton. Ted very much doesn't like Bob, by the way. 
if you hadn't put that together yet. You want to power up the computer and then attach the laptop to it. Bob, stop playing your stupid games on my computer. It's screwing around with my AI experiments, idiot. All right, I can also put this here, by the way. The corn's watching us, observing our every move. Check out this fucking painting. Just look at it. Hi, Ted. Notice that you took down the painting in the lobby. Thanks, it had a little blemish on it. No sweat, though. Here's another one. Be a pal and put it up, would you please? Bob, I'm not putting up another one of your stupid paintings, you self-indulgent louse. For God's sake, how many did you order? And why is my face on that stupid horse? Rip, Ted. What was it like to be a horse? If you follow the trail of garbage, you can make it to Bob's place. Three balls in the woods. Does it make a sound? Hmm, interesting conundrum. What kind of tree? Fur. Can it talk? Yes, but only after lunchtime. Is it wearing a lot of bells? Some. But not many. Is it in a glass house? Naturally. I have it. It does make a sound, but since it's a tree, it's too stupid to notice. Correct! Well done. Oh, mean to trees. We added a new item to the portfolio that I missed originally. How dare. A memo from the U.S. government directed to a secret f research facility, name of which is redacted. It contains an incomprehensible directive to do something with corn, including an even... More incomprehensible sum of money for the budget, the year of the memo, 1983. Anyway, excuse me, guys. They don't see me. They're ignoring me. How rude. A lot of shit in here, huh? Look at all of this. And I also, the thing that unnerves me the most about this room is the fact that there's two toilets and they're directly facing each other. I really don't like that. Bob, I don't know how you managed to copy my bathroom key, but good God, how many cheeseburgers do you eat, you slob? Rest in peace, man. I just assume they're dead, right? That's an assumption to make. Count of the corn. Children of the corn in this game. There are many. I don't know what that means. I just am saying stuff at this point. Up the stairs and through the woods. I wanted to say to grandmother's house we go, but I don't think that's how that was going to work out. Ooh, a military backpack. Screwdriver. Thank you. Pop this open. Gotta get the ram. Hi, Ted. Just a heads up. I put your ram right here. This way it gets less dusty. I like that they don't speak to each other at all. Only through sticky notes. That's the most efficient way to communicate. Sticky notes. Are the, fur are the furthest frontier in communication. Give me this headband. Headband, of course, very crucial for the jumpsuit that we're gonna be wearing later. Hopefully. I should wear, in the next Let's Play part, I should wear a jumpsuit. First of all, I'll have to buy a jumpsuit, but I should wear one. It'd be great. Also, this is the best room. Look at the rainbows. Look at the rainbows! Can we unequip items and then just kind of observe? Yeah. This is a great thumbnail. There we go. That's the thumbnail. Beautiful. Beautiful. Anyway. Here's a teddy bear. We're going to make you alive. Aren't we, Mr. Teddy Bear? Because we've seen anything about this game. You are aware that this teddy bear is about to kill everyone. Probably. We don't know if that's actually the reality, but... Now we place the backpack here, and now we need to install the RAM very carefully into the computer. By that I mean smash it right through the keyboard. Boom. That does it. What? What are you looking at? Something on Vladdy's face? Why you not talk? Do you understand? Understand. What Pleddy is saying. Butso boy, you're a big idiot. How you survive by being This accent doesn't match a fucking little tiny cute little teddy bear at all, by the way. Why guys so many? What is this on Vladdy's back? This makes no sense. All of this is very stupid. So, where we go? 
I like that we now have Vladdy, who's instantly ready to, one, insult us, and then, two, follow us into the battle wherever the hell we're going to go. So he's like, yeah, sure, where the fuck are we going now? Hello, Corn. Sick him! What does Plan C? Is that a... It's, it's a helicopter! Almost. Very close. Mr. Helicopter. Don't give me a ride! We can all fit, just climb in! My lucid drug. What's the way? Why can I wish there were subtitles for when he goes fucking his Russian... Russian rants. Would it be just gonna be like that? Cause I don't know what he's saying. If you speak Russian in the comments below... Let me know what he's saying, because I would like to know. We have a message for you. It's very important. You should hit the showers. What's a shower? I have no idea. Guys, we should hit the showers. Oh no. Why don't you like it here? Vladdy, it's just an ominous testing facility where there are no employees left and everyone's missing, except for giant stalks of sentient corn. Nothing suspicious has happened here, clearly. You should love it here. Are these grapes? Uh-oh. Unplayable. Literally unplayable. The grapes are peeking out through the grape... Or the... I almost said grape glass. Oh, well. We almost had it. Now we're in the showers. We're, we have to hit the showers. I think this is probably a good place to end part one. This ominous hole. Next time. Is Vladdy still following us? There we go. He walks really slow, but eventually he kicks up with you. And despite how much he acts like he hates you, I'm pretty sure he might actually love you. Anyway, that is going to be the end of part one. We have built Vladdy the teddy bear, and I think that's a pretty good stopping point. I hope you enjoy this video, and let me know in the comments below, one, if you speak Russian, and please help me the fuck out with what the hell Vladdy's saying. Because if he's going to insult everyone in the game, I would like to at least know what he's saying. For so far, he is a teddy bear after my own heart. And the link's below in the description. You can find links to support me on Patreon, Twitter, and Twitch. And I'd hope you'd like to do so. If you don't want to do that, you can share this video to wherever they're posting maze videos. Or tweet at the developer at Finish Line Games and let them know that you liked this series and like their game and you're interested in it. Something like that. But if you don't want to buy the game, you can also watch my Let's Play series of it. Anyway, I think I just tried to wink there, but I'm actually pretty sure I just blinked both my eyes. So yeah, this video does need to end. You can subscribe to my channel to watch me play the rest of this game and a bunch of other games as well. But above all else, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.